Well, the Baxter Schools program started in 2007 following uh, the German presidency and it was a great initiative. Um, and since then there have been uh, 60,000 students who have benefited from this initiative and almost 400 EU officials have gone back to their schools to talk to them in 10 different member states. I would say there are threefold reasons for this. The first is to put a human face on the, on the EU, which is really necessary in this day and age. The second is for European officials to go back and give their personal experiences about their work. And thirdly, it is really to bring the EU alive for young people so they see what it's all about. Well, after 30 years that I was last there, I did exams in the hall where, the, uh, where we had to present, so I was a bit scared, but no, and it was a great experience, and um, I recognised some of the, the teachers. Um, obviously, they had uh, changed a little bit in 30 years, but um, it, was, it was wonderful because I had good experiences there. It was a happy, uh, it was a happy experience, and also um, the other thing which I really appreciated was there were 300 students in the hall, about 200 were from St. Joseph's College, my old school. There were 60 from the Blaise Pascal School in Rouen, in France, who were visiting as part of a Comenius programme, and there were another uh, group of students from Norbury Manor. I think they responded well. There were a lot of smiley faces. Um, we broke the students up into t to different tables so they could uh, uh, talk to each other about what are the main issues uh, affecting the EU. Um, I had questions about uh, austerity, about the euro, about environment, which I could talk about because that is uh, obviously my work, um, and why there is such a negative press in, in the UK towards the European project. Well, it was a very uh, opportune moment because uh, some of these students will vote in the next European elections. Um, also, we were actually there for the anniversary of the Nobel Peace Prize that was awarded to the European Union last October. And I concluded my uh, presentation by saying even if one student in the hall had been inspired to even think about working for the European Union, then my trip had been a success. Okay, I now work um, at RSPB as a climate change policy officer. Um, before that, um, regarding my EU experience, I did the uh, Erasmus pro exchange program in Thessaloniki, Greece. Uh, I also participated in a Leonardo da Vinci program, which is a um, work in practice experience exchanging in other uh, member states. And most recently, I was a trainee in the European Commission. Uh, I really enjoyed talking to uh, over 260 students. Uh, and I felt that after my intervention and my presentation to them about my EU experiences, they, they really felt in, inspired and we, we noticed it by students coming uh, after the presentation to ask us questions, how, uh, what are the options to, for applying uh, for different, different programs, as I just named, and, uh, and they, had, they had a lot of questions about a variety of uh, European-related things, and I felt that Really, we brought a positive message about the European Union, about programs it, it funds and, and, and programs which are available to young people. So I think in overall it was a successful event.